Oklahoma energy companies are also answering the call to help their neighbors in Louisiana following the destruction caused by the hurricane. With more on how they're getting involved, here's Jason Doyle with the Oklahoma Business Review. Oklahoma's two major electric utility providers have sent dozens of crews to help in the hurricane ravaged portion of Louisiana. OG&E sent more than 50 trucks with 240 linemen and other personnel to help with the effort. Public Service Company of Oklahoma sent 25 crews with 182 workers. Both companies are helping Intergy restore power through their mutual assistance agreements. The OG&E and PSO crews could be in Louisiana for up to two weeks. Oklahoma is one of eight states working with Apple to allow residents to store official digital driver's license or identification cards on their iPhone through the Apple Wallet app or on the Apple Watch. The Transportation Security Commission will select certain airports as the first locations people will be allowed to use the Apple Wallet ID. The process to add an ID will be much the same as adding a credit card to the app. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions has successfully tested its Airwolf tactical drone system at its Burns Flat, Oklahoma range facility. The drone system carried multiple new payloads using Kratos' proprietary artificial intelligence autonomy software system. This was the inaugural test flight for the Burns Flat location and is expected to see its use by the company grow. The Airwolf drone joins Kratos' line of high performance jet drones. Tulsa-based Greystone Logistics brought in a yearly net profit of a little more than $3 million this fiscal year. That was lower than the previous year's net income, which drew in nearly $5 million. At the same time, the company has lowered its debt in financing leases by nearly $5.9 million. Greystone Logistics collects plastic and recycles it into pallets. Vancouver-based Kaya Push is expanding its cannabis dispensary HR services to Oklahoma. The company offers a software package to dispensaries for HR, payroll, time tracking, and scheduling. The software also integrates with several point-of-sale systems and Oklahoma's future seed-to-sale tracking system. Kaya Push currently offers its software service in five other states. You'll notice a little DeWalt yellow along with the crimson and cream on the sidelines at OU football games this season. That's because the power tool manufacturer is sponsoring college football teams for the first time to help it market its products. OU is one of the first 25 college teams to receive the sponsorship, which comes in the form of team benches installed exclusively by DeWalt Tools. Jason Doyle, the Oklahoma Business Review.